come on in to Frugal Willie Mae's Kitchen. Today we're going to do an extreme cheap, tasty, and nutritious meal. I'm measuring out one cup of mixed white and pinto beans. I'm putting it in a pan of water. And I've already rinsed the beans. I let it cook a rolling boil for two minutes and then I'll pour the water off and I'll do it a second time. That will remove the gases from the beans so you don't even have to take beano. I've put the beans and water to cover the beans in a pressure cooker. I've added a half a teaspoon of oil. I use a light olive oil. That's going to keep the beans from frothing as they cook in the pressure cooker. My weight has started to jiggle. So I will cook that some 10 minutes and then the beans will be done. In addition to the beans for this meal, I am going to make some stovetop corn, cornbread. I've got one cup of cornmeal put inside the bowl. I have one and one-fourth teaspoons of, I use Amish baking powder. It's double acting. And I use um, low sodium salt. I put a half a teaspoon of that in the mix. So I've got my dry ingredients together. I made an egg substitute like mama always made. She was allergic to eye eggs. So she put an eighth of a teaspoon of cream or tartar in milk or water. And I'm using water because we're doing extreme cheap. <laughs> I'm going to add water. So I'm gonna mix this up. I want a thin cornbread. I don't want a thick cornbread. And I've got my stove Oh, about five. Okay, I've got just a little bit more water. I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time so that I can get the right consistency. I That's a really good consistency right there. I flip the cornbread over, and if I need to add more oil, I will. Our pressure cooked beans turned out just perfectly. By putting the white beans in there, it makes like a, a thickener or a gravy. And I don't have to use cornstarch or flour to thicken the bean juice, and that's what you want in a really good southern bean, uh, dried bean recipe. Now, I can actually add whatever I want. This does not, just because you're having beans and cornbread, it doesn't have to be boring. It can be as flavorful as you want it. I like onions to go with the beans, so I just put a few on the plate. You can have a choice of sweet relish. You can have the dill relish, which is lighter in color. You can have cheese if you want to put cheese on top. You also can add Louisiana hot sauce if you really want to get your taste buds going. I chose to put a little cheese on top of my beans. And this is vegan cheese. Oh my. <laughs> the cornbread is really good. It's crispy and crunchy. 
And that's what I like with my beans. I want you to subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. If you want to see a future video that I haven't done, you have a suggestion, please leave me a comment below. And I do invite you to give me a thumbs up and to share if you choose to do that. My frugal tip of the day is this. Just because we're eating a, an extreme cheap meal, it doesn't have to be boring. We can liven up that meal in many different It's also, what I showed you today is that like survival food. We can liven up our meals a little bit, even whenever it's cheap. If we've got a little bread left over, or if we've got a cracker, we can put some molasses on it, or if we've got honey, we could put a little honey on it, or we could put a little jelly. It makes it a little different, makes you a little bit fuller, and it's almost like a dessert without being a dessert.